welcome to Page Family Homestead. We're making rabbit today. And uh, what we've done, we've already marinated this rabbit, but I'm going to tell you how we've done it. I put it into a baggie. I cut the rabbit up into pieces. Then I put 300 mils of red wine into the baggie, and I put all the rabbit in there too. Then I took uh, one tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon of, of thyme, salt and pepper, and uh, about eight cloves of garlic, right here as you can see, into it as well, and two cinnamon sticks. Now I let that marinate for 24 hours. So this is what's, what we've, we've got right now. And it's, this, this isn't a wild rabbit, this is actually store-bought rabbit. But we're, go, we're planning on raising rabbits, so we're going to try different recipes on rabbits. So this has been soaking for 24 hours in red wine. So that's why it's that color. So what we're going to do right now is I've got a pan already heated and we're going to brush these. These Look at the meat. There's a lot of meat on a rabbit. We're just going to brush these and we're going to brown them. And in your pot with olive oil, in your pot four tablespoons of olive oil. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. Okay, just lightly brush them. That way they won't stick to the pan. Because it's only got four, cup, four teaspoons in there of olive oil. Oh, look at that. And oh, also, it's, we've also put in bacon, about three strips of bacon finely cut, cut up, and uh, that'll give the pork flavor to it, the beef, the, the pork, yeah, the bacon. And you cook this on a medium heat, medium high, for now, till we get it brown. See, there's that cinnamon stick. Little bugger gets everywhere. Okay. Now, keep lightly browning it. Like this. There we go. I've never had, I can't remember, I, I know I've had rabbit, but I can't remember eating it. Um, so I'm gonna try it again. And like I said, we're going to be raising rabbits, meat rabbits. So we're going to try a bunch of different recipes on rabbits. There's a lot of meat in that rabbit. Wow. I'm surprised. And uh, this is actually, rabbit is the national food in Malta, by the way. They love those wackly rabbits. <laughs> Oh, this looks good. I can't wait to try it. There we go, and I'll bring you back after this is seared. Okay, we're back. Now I'm going to turn them. Let's see what they look like. See, she's starting to brown there. Nice. Nice. And that's been about three minutes. Four minutes, I'd say. Yep. I'm guessing. <laughs> okay, we'll turn these over. Okay, it's looking good. They're looking good. There we go. That looks beautiful. Doesn't that look good? There we go. So now, flip them. They're browned up really nicely. So what we're going to do now is make a, a hole in the center here. And we're going to put two tablespoons of 
tomato paste in. Right in the middle there. Okay, there. And then we're going to put in one of these oxy packs. It's a, the beef oxy in there as well. And what we're going to do is, as well, we're going to put in our our cinnamon sticks back in there to cook with and we're going to put our wine marinade in there as well now we're going to turn this on a medium heat and stir this up a bit get her all on there like that. Two bay leaves in there as well. And if it doesn't look deep enough, pour a little bit more red wine in. That should be good. We'll mix it up. This will make a beautiful gravy with it. Mm. Okay, now we're going to put the juice of a lemon in there. Now, my hands are clean, so we squeeze that lemon in there. Get rid of the seeds. There we go. And now the zest. Now I bought this for my wife. She likes to collect what are these things called? Graters. So I bought her this little one, but it's useful. So we're gonna grate a little bit of lemon in there as well. See, it really works. Not just a kid's toy anymore. <laughs> and that should be good. There. Now, mix it all up. And what I'm going to do, that's looking nice. Everything's soaked there. Now, I'm going to cover it and put it on a, med a low heat, about four and a half on my oven anyway. maybe three down to three yeah about three and we're gonna leave that for about an hour and we'll come back when is it that's okay welcome back and here it is all done look at the juices in that just beautiful mm. that is gorgeous so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the platter well Joe did I do Malta Proud? Look at that. Wait till you see that gravy in there. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Hi, we're back. Here it is on the plate. Already up. I've removed the bay leaves and the cinnamon sticks out of there. But look at that and put some extra lemon on it. And some broccoli here. So, but this gravy here is what's going to make it pop. So we're just going to Pour that all over. Look at that. Look at that stuff. Mmm. Doesn't that look good? Beautiful. There we go. Now look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, now we're going to put a little drizzle of olive oil on it as well to give it a little bit of flavor. There we go, beautiful. <clears throat> now that was extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> Never mind. 
mind. <laughs> well, Joe, how does that look? Leave me a comment. We'll see you later. Give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe. <laughs> we'll see you later.